the house will come to order. The invocation today will be given by the Honorable Jasper Ryan Marthus, State Representative from the 69th District. Will members, staff, and guests in the gallery please rise. Representative. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. That which is hateful to you, do not do to another. No, not one of you who is a believer until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Hurt not others with that which pains yourself. Do not to others what if done to thee would cause thee pain. Every religion separated by centuries, continents, and cultures has in its sacred texts or traditions a version of the golden rule. While doctrinal divisions and differences over denominations may create barriers between one another, there is a beauty in the universa universality of the golden rule, of this concept that we must do unto others as we would have them do unto us. When we come to this esteemed chamber from many different backgrounds and cultures, let us seek common ground as we seek to do for others what we would have them do for ourselves. The clerk will open the board for the purpose of taking attendance. The board is now open. Members may check in at their desk.
I could have the member's attention for purposes of introduction. The chair recognizes Representative Miller. Hello, everyone. Can we give a warm welcome to Raisinville Elementary from Monroe? We have 29 students and 12 adults visiting us in the West Gallery. So if you could please rise and we'll recognize you. Thank you so much. Would Representative Miller, a special guest, please rise. Welcome to the Michigan House of Representatives. Members, please check in at your desk. The board will be closing shortly.
Speaker recognizes Minority Floor Leader Postumus. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to excuse Representative Harris. Without objection, so ordered. I'm sorry. It's not actually on. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to excuse all absent members. Without objection, so ordered. The clerk will close the board, tally, display, and announce today's attendance. Madam Speaker, a quorum of the House is present. There are no members absent with prior excuse. Will members, staff, and guests in the gallery please rise and join me now in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Members, we're going to enforce Rule 32. Please find your way to your seats. Members, we're enforcing Rule 32. Find your way to your seats or a sergeant will help you do it, please. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to order motions and resolutions to take up House Resolution 141. Without objection, so order. The clerk will read. House Resolution Number 141, introduced by Representative Coons, a resolution to create a House Select Committee to examine the actions of Representative Angela Whitworth of the 76th District. The bill is referred to the Committee on Government Operations. <coughs> Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ash. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Receive order of Secretary to bills, but take up count item number 91, House Bill 4553. Without objection, so ordered. The clerk will read. 
Gallon item number 91, House Bill 4553, introduced by Representative Fitzgerald. A bill to amend the Michigan Trust Fund Act. People of the State of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? There being no amendments, the question for the House is placing the bill on the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. <laughs> Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Continue order of second reading bills. Majority Count Item number 92, House Bill 4554. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. Gallon item number 92, House Bill 4554, introduced by Representative Menser, a bill to amend the Use Tax Act. People of the State of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? There are. The clerk will read. The Committee on Tax Policy, Representative Neely Chair, recommends the adoption of Substitute H1. The question for the House is the adoption of the substitute. The clerk will open the board. The substitute is adopted. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is advancing the bill to the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. The Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. I move to see the order of reports of standing committees and read in the reports for the Committee on Elections. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu Chair, recommend, uh, reported House Bill number 4983 with recommendation that the substitute H1 be adopted and the bill then pass. The bill be referred to the order of second reading of bills. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu reported House Bill 4984 with recommendation that the substitute H1 be adopted and the bill then pass. The bill will be referred to this order of second order, second reading of bills. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu, Chair, reported House Bill number 4985 with recommendation that the substitute H1 be adopted and the bill then pass. The bill will be referred to the order of second reading of bills. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu, Chair, reported House Bill 4986 with recommendation that the substitute H1 be adopted and the bill then pass. The bill will be referred to the order of second reading of bills. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Move to the order of second reading of bills and take up House Bill 4983. Without objection, so ordered. The clerk will read. House Bill number 4983, introduced by Representative Cernoglu, a bill to amend the Michigan election law. People of the state of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu Chair, recommends the adoption of substitute H1. The question for the House is the adoption of the substitute. The clerk will open the board. The substitute is adopted. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is advancing the bill to the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. The speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayotte. Continue order of second reading bills will take up House Bill 4984. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. House Bill 4984, introduced by Representative Skaggs, a bill to amend the Michigan Vehicle Code. People of the State of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? There are. The clerk will read. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cernoglu Chair, recommends the adoption of substitute H1. The question for the House is the adoption of the substitute. The clerk will open the board. The substitute is adopted. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is advancing the bill to the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. <laughs> Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayotte. Taking order of second reading of bills, we'll take up House Bill 4985. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. House Bill 4985, introduced by Representative Devendorf, 
a bill to amend an act provide for an official personal identification card. People of the State of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? There are. The clerk will read. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cerner Chair, recommends the adoption of substitute H1. The question for the House is the adoption of the substitute. The clerk will open the board. The substitute is adopted. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is advancing the bill to the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayala. In order of second reading bills, we'll take House Bill 4986. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. House Bill 4986, introduced by Representative Wilson. A bill to amend the Enhanced Driver's License and Enhanced Official State Personal Identification Card Act. People of the State of Michigan, an act. The bill will be considered read for a second time by its title. Are there amendments? There are. The clerk will read. The Committee on Elections, Representative Cerner Gucher, recommends the adoption of Substitute H1. The question for the House is the adoption of the substitute. The clerk will open the board. The substitute is adopted. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is advancing the bill to the order of third reading. Hearing no objection, the bill is on third reading. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayaz. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm going to proceed to order messages from the Senate and take up count on number seven, House Bill 4352. Without objection, so order. The clerk will read. Calendar item number seven, House Bill 4352, introduced by Representative Shannon, was returned from the Senate with amendments and immediate effect and full title and was laid over under the rules. The question for the House is concurring in the Senate substitute. A record roll call vote is required. Those in favor will vote aye. Those opposed, nay. The clerk will open the board. The clerk will close the board, tally, display, and announce the vote. Madam Speaker, on the question of concurring in the Senate amendments to House Bill 4352, there are 56 I votes and 53 nay votes. Majority of the members elected and serving having voted therefore, the Senate amendment is concurred in. The House will agree to the title of the bill. The bills refer to the clerk for enrollment, printing, and presentation of the governor. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Thing or a message from the Senate, move to take up count on number eight, House Bill 4353. Without objection, so ordered, the clerk will read. Calendar at number eight, House Bill 4353, introduced by Representative McDonnell, was returned from the Senate with Senate amendments, immediate effect, and full title, and was laid over under the rules. The question where the House is concurring in the Senate amendment, a record roll call vote is required. Those in favor will vote aye. Those opposed nay. The clerk will open the board. <laughs> Members, please vote at your desks.
The clerk will close the board. Tally, display, and announce the vote. Madam Speaker, I have the question concurring on the Senate Amendment to House Bill 4353. There are 56 I votes, 53 day votes. Majority of the members elected and serving having voted therefore, the Senate Amendment is concurred in. The bill is referred to the clerk for enrollment printing and presentation to the governor. The speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. I move to seize order motions and resolutions. Without objection, so ordered. Speaker mm -hmm. recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Move that committee to be leave to meet or balance of today's session. Without objection, so ordered. Committees are given leave to meet. Speaker recognizes Majority Floor Leader Ayash. Thank you, Speaker. The members will be no for the voting. The House adjourned to Sandra until Wednesday, October 4th at 1.30 p.m. Without objection, so ordered. The House will stand at ease. Call the chair. Rule 32 is no longer being enforced.